What is good, everybody? Today we are back with a two in one WWE Ultimate Edition review on Dominic and Rey Mysterio from Series 23 of the WWE Ultimate Edition line. Now, I figured these two could go together. I thought about doing them on their own, but wrestling figure YouTube moves fast. And also, these two guys fought each other at WrestleMania 39 in these gears, and they're represented in Ultimate Edition form. And I was there for that matchup, so that's pretty cool. But today I figured they could go together because they were enemies. This is the matchup between the two at WrestleMania, so I figured what better way to then to review them all together here in a review for. Dominic and Rey Mysterio, and also their father and son, and we have the Lucha Lowrider. There's a lot. We have a lot of this in figure form. We've had a trillion Rey Mysterios. We've had quite a bit of Dominic Mysterios as well, but this will be our Ultimate Edition form, and I'm excited to get into it with you. Let's take a look at the front viewing window here, man. We do have Dominic. I'm not as excited for the Dominic as I am for the Rey Mysterio, and just because I think that the Dominic, there's a lot of stuff we've seen before, but it does have some interesting things taking place. You do get a nice shot of the man over there, or the boy, and then you do have a nice shot of the boy on the back. Nice shot of WrestleMania 39 there, all the bio reads and everything, pretty epic stuff, and then we have Bible Man Rey Mysterio right here, and the reason I call it Bible Man Rey Mysterio is because I feel like the mask shape, I know that it was supposed to be Muda inspired, or that's what people say, but it had a, especially when he came out, it had a very Bible Man look, and we'll get into that as we diagnose the figure, but there it is, on the side you have nice Rey Mysterio, I mean that is Bible Man, man, on the back we have a nice shot of Bible Man, dude, you can't tell me that's not Bible Man right there, unreal, but then we have him jumping off the top rope right there, you got all the good stuff for Rey Mysterio, and we have WrestleMania 39's matchup in Ultimate Edition 4. Nonetheless, man, if you want to grab these figures, you can do so over Ringside Collectibles. Use code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. I am unaware if they're in stock or not. That'll be up to you to go find out for yourselves. But with that being said, man, let's crack both of these Ultimate Editions out of the packaging, find out what they're all about, and see if they're indeed worth a damn and how they fit into our WWE action figure collections. Oh my god in heaven, we're knocking shish over. Nothing drives me more mad, man. I don't know, like, knocking my background over, I'd rather, I'd rather get run over by a truck, I'm telling you. Stand the hell up and get out. So here's father and son in Ultimate Edition form spinning around and round, and you get a great WrestleMania matchup together, and then you get Ultimate Editions together in the same set. I mean, what could you ask for? And they've been tag team champions at WrestleMania, am I right? So they've had lots of father and son connections here. I mean, you don't even have to mention the custody ladder match. So pretty, I mean, pretty lofty goals as a father and son. I mean, it's unreal. But Dominic and Rey Mysterio looking pretty good here. We're going to dive into each figure. We're going to dive into the Rey Mysterio accessories and Rey Mysterio. Then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Dominic's Mysterio. Mysterios, Dominic's Mysterios, Dominic's accessories, I'm sorry, and then we'll take a closer look at Dom Dom himself and get into it, man, but really unboxing these, I'm really impressed more and more, you know, I looked at the galleries and everything of these figures, I make my assessments, I see the prototypes in person at these different cons and events, and much like the LA Knight Ultimate from yesterday, if you guys missed that review, please go check that out, I'd greatly appreciate it, but uh, some of these figures, you really can't diagnose them, you can look at the images all you want, but until you get them in hand, you can really get into it and, you know, kind of progress everything and make your judgments for yourself. But that's why I try to give you guys the most optimal and the most accurate assessment of these figures in these reviews, man. But what we're going to do is get into the accessories and dive into the figures themselves. Let's see what these guys are all about. So getting into Rey Mysterio's accessories, pretty light for an Ultimate Edition, man. Pretty light for an Ultimate Edition. You don't get interchangeable arms, you don't get a championship, you only get two head sculpts, probably because they had to sculpt a whole damn mask, which I get, but yeah, come on, man. Now both are brand new head sculpts, so we do have the Bible Man looking mask. It's just the shape of it when it came out. It had like these structured cheekbones or something, but it's not looking as bad in person, but the sculpt is very nice. I like it. The yellow colors and the reds and everything look very good. It reminds me of the, oh my god in heaven, something just fell. But it reminds me a lot of the Flash, really, is what I'm getting vibes of. But you can see how like it looks kind of like a helmet. I mean, it's not bad, but he has the smiling head sculpt. And then we have the more serious face, which I appreciate more. I think it would have looked better if he blacked out around his eyes. I think that would make the mask and everything about it look way better. But you have the crosses in there, the yellows. It's kind of an orangey red is how it comes across on camera. And it's not as much of a flat red. It's kind of a, I don't know, it's, it's not very deep red, if that makes sense. It's kind of an orangish red, but I like both these head sculpts, I guess. They're, they're not bad, I just... Wish that for Ray's sake, he should have blacked out his eyes. I think it would have made it look a lot more menacing. Now, outside of that, we do have the entrance vest here with the sculpted on wings. And these wings are hard as hell. Look at that right there. Look at that thick piece right there. And it is cool because it has the masks or the, you know, those Ray Mysterio logos or whatever on the sides here. And they kind of connect, which I think is nice. It makes some shoulder pads, which is cool. Got the black paneling and the Ray Mysterio logo. Very cool. Very nice. I like it. I think they did a good job here. And it doesn't hinder articulation, which we love to see. And then he also comes with his belt. Now, it does have a little fraying on it, but you have the little crown on the front, and then it has the yellow and black with the Velcro on the front, so you can't undo it there. And that is to 
spank Dominic. I'm pretty sure that is what this is for, right? So you can remove the belt just like Ray did in real life. And he did whoop his son there at WrestleMania in front of 100,000 people or whatever the hell it was. So that's a pretty cool accessory. It's not the most, you know, the greatest sex accessory ever. I kind of wish it was rubber instead of Velcro. But it's not the biggest deal. I guess it kind of works because then when you have it laid out, well, I guess it curls up anyway. So, I don't know. What the hell do I know, Brad? I don't know nothing. And then for interchangeable hands, you're getting the same Rey Mysterio interchangeable hands we've seen forever. The small fisted hands that are glove mold, they are sculpted in a red colorway there. But it's really reddish orange. I'm telling you, it's reddish orange. But he comes with fists to beat the hell out of people. And just like every other Rey Mysterio, there's no mic holding hands really. It's just these reaching out smack down entrance from the old intro. You know, where he reaches out. Kind of your reaching out sort of hands or whatever the hell you want to say. So getting into Rey Mysterio, starting off a head sculpt, man, this is the same mass head sculpt we took a look at. It's still very Bible man-like, you know, it is what it is. I, I, I don't know, it's just what I thought of initially when I was there. I mean, I was there in person and initially thought so, and then seeing it, you know, here in figure form kind of all but confirms it. But I do like the sculpted torso we have going on right here. This is a brand new torso, never seen this before to my knowledge. Tattoo all looks good. I like the butterfly joints. You know, I like when they make Rey Mysterio look more muscular. I think his arms are a little small, to be honest, because he's kind of, I mean, he's not chunky or something, but if you're an athlete, you know what I'm talking about. When a guy looks like a damn bowling ball, you know, he's just like, just, I don't know how to really describe it. He's broad, he's built. But you do have the armbands here with the R's and the crown, and you have the Mysterio there with the logos. Tattoos look good. You have these loose gauntlets here. I wish these were tighter, but... They've been using these same ones forever. Yeah, the black, the red, the yellow all coming down. I really like the designs in the Mysterio right there. I think that looks really good. You have Mysterio on both sides, or is it Ray on one side? Ray 619 and the Mysterio on the other uh, other side there. But I like the the wings. and Dude, it's just a really clean attire. Very nice attire there. You have no pinless joints, which is good. Then we have these brand new sculpted boots, which I think look really good with the stars. And he's always had so many logos and stuff, man. Very detailed. 619 on the back of the boots. This guy just uh, feels really good in hand. I will say his legs feel a little loose here, but ab crunch is solid. He can go back pretty far. Butterfly joint doesn't feel as good as we felt in the past. It doesn't go back as far or across as far as I feel like other ultimates have. But you have the bicep swivel. You got double jointed arms, obviously. Wrist hinge up and down and all that mess. Solid waist. He does have drop down hips, which can allow for a lot of range of motion there with the kick forward and everything. Thing. I mean, this guy can. I mean, he can pose with the best of them. It is a Rey Mysterio, after all. Upper thigh cut, double jointed knee, boots swivel, ankles move down and up, and the ankle pivot is pretty good. I'd say, like right there, look at that ankle pivot. It's just, it gets a little bit, it goes off to the side a little bit, but I think, I don't think you're going to really have any issues with any posing. It's really just going to come down to the legs getting a little bit loose, at least what I found. But, I mean, detail-wise and everything else, it feels really good in hand. It's just, I don't know, there there's certain some limitations in terms of, you know, the legs getting a little bit loose on you there as you continue to pose that figure around. But as far as some Rey Mysterio Elite figure comparisons, we do have the last few top talents Rey Mysterio Elites to compare with the Ultimate, and then we do have the most recent Elite, which was the LWO Mattel Creations 5-Pack Elite here in the promo gear. And then for your Ultimate Edition figure comparison, here is the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Walmart exclusive Rey Mysterio up next to the modern day one. And you can see there, man, I think this is the way to make him where he's more, you know, he's more, he's a little bit bulky, man. He's got some musculature to him, and I feel like this doesn't really do him justice. I feel like this makes him really, really tiny. However, you know, it is cool to see kind of a, a glimpse to the past versus the modern day. It's just, I don't know, I think that they could do better there. And I don't have the Fan Takeover Ultimate Edition, so I can not in good conscience compare it to uh, the third Ultimate Edition. This is the third Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio we've seen, so it's just something to note there, but I did not vote for that damn SmackDown debut. It didn't have the SmackDown or the Spider-Man logos. It didn't have the Spider-Man logos on it, so why would I want it, you know? It just, not good. It looked too much like the Royal Rumble Elite that we've seen, and I thought that doing that modern day Ray in that military green and gold or whatever it was would have been really sweet, but what do I know? Now, I'm always telling you, what do I know? I don't know nothing. Light's too bright for me, right? And on the flip side, we do have Dominic Mysterio's accessories, who does come with interchangeable arms. He has an additional head sculpt. He has some accessories, but no championship belt. Obviously, this matchup did not come with a championship or have a championship on the line, but I wanted to take a look at this new head sculpt. He's kind of making this kind of gritting face, but looking slightly off to the left, and I am not a fan of this head sculpt. I don't like it. I don't think the likeness is there. I think that the other head sculpt is much better, and we've seen this head sculpt before. It's kind of a pissed off stern face, and it looks like the eye didn't completely fill up the, the eye right there or something, but I definitely like this one over this one right here. But I did paint a mustache onto the Elite 109 head sculpt, and I think that head sculpt looks a lot better than these. Now, I know they can't really 
add that in post, but I mean, I guess this is essentially the exact same head sculpt with a mustache, but I do not like this metal head sculpt at all. I, do not, I don't know what it is, but I'm not feeling it for whatever reason. But outside of these two head sculpts, you also get the masked head sculpt that he made his entrance with that looks pretty cool. And honestly, you could probably, you know, pass this off as a Rey Mysterio. You know, if you wanted to put this onto some sort of Rey Mysterio Elite and paint it up or do something... It does have a unique sculpt and everything, so you could do that, but on the back it even has like a skull design on the back, which I thought was cool. It's a very cool deal going on here with the Rey Mysterio or Dominic Mysterio head sculpt, and it does look like Dominic through the mask, which I think is very unique, and I mean, very nice sculptures going on with this. Outside of the masked head sculpts and the interchangeable head sculpts, you do get a pair of handcuffs that are very short, and they're kind of difficult to put on, and the way I found to do it is take the sleeved arm and kind of loop it there and then insert a hand in through here here if you want to put this on here. It's not the greatest, and I'll show you guys in photography and stuff, but that's the only way to really get him to wear the handcuffs with these sleeved coat arms, which I'm pretty sure he did wear, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong there, but that's the best way I've found. But he does come with interchangeable arms. You have the jacket arms, and then you have the regular tatted arms, which we'll take a look at the tatted arms when we take a look at the figure itself. But he does come with his mic holding hands that have the tattoos on the hands, which is good. And he also comes with a pair of fisted hands to beat the hell out of people. But then we come back to the sculpted arms. Now these are the interchangeable arms. They are not pinless, and they do have sort of this corduroy sculpt going on where they have the line sculpted in. You have the silver buttons and different sculpts going down the sides. Now this is very easy to interchange, but this is the jacket arm sculpt, so you can have him wearing a jacket that doesn't interfere or hinder any articulation. You'll have a fully operational jacket that won't, you know, delay anything or ruin anything there. And here is the main jacket piece that does have some nice sculpts on the front. You have some purple lining and different buckles and stuff. It does not secure in the front, so I'm not sure if at WrestleMania he had that secured and then they unbuckled it, but it does does open up obviously it is a vest and it's got the same sculpts on it it's got a hood and it does have the m wings on the back with the judgment day and then it does have the sculpted on lines and it, it's a nice i mean everything looks good here it's just not the greatest accessory of all time or anything but it does give you a different look if you don't want dominic without the jacket you can have him in that optional jacket for an entrance or something like that which is pretty cool but yeah, I mean, that's kind of the feature for Ultimate Editions. That's kind of how it all started to begin with. So getting into Dominic Mysterio, starting up the head sculpt, I've already went over it. I think this one's my favorite one in comparison. I think it's a repeat of the Elite 105 or Elite 109, if I'm not mistaken. They, those may have even been the same. I can't I can't recall. I think the hair was slightly different, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the Elite, it's a repeat of the Elite 109, I believe. But it is a bit loose, man. Like, look at this right here. He's kind of like bobblehead-y. I don't know if it's supposed to be super tight, but I, I know the neck peg is extremely long. So that may be why it's like that. I'm not entirely sure. But going down to the torso, this looks to be a brand new torso, at least off rip. I can't remember, but you do have the nice purple paneling and white. You have the arms. I like the proportions here. You don't have anything like super overgrown or everything. I think the torso to the shoulders to the arms really flows nicely with all of his tattoos. And I also noticed that they made his wrist tape glossy, which I don't know if that's accurate or not. I'm looking at photos now and it doesn't look like it was accurate. He just had regular wrist tape, which isn't glossy, so I don't know why they would do that. But he does have the paneling shirt on there, which I like. This is a good sculpt here, and I think they did a good job and it's a good it's a good design choice I think but one thing I really love about this Dominic is the attire you have the mommy on the butt there that looks like the Latino heat and then you have this paneling like Eddie Guerrero used to have but it has kind of a judgment day theme with flames and sharp edges they just did a really good job here on the gear I think the gear looks very sweet great choice here and I know it's Mania 39 but I'm glad that Dominic had some good gear here for this matchup kind of wish I had the glitter and stuff that I think it had in real life but I like the DM and everything it just looks really really clean so shout out to Dom for that one but he does have the pinless knees in there with the uh, the tassels coming down here. And then he has these sort of laced boots that had kick pads on. It's a very weird look, but he does have Mysterio on the back, which I think is a really cool detail. I, I'm finding a lot of details on this Dominic Mysterio that I, li I, I like and appreciate more and more. But the gear is really something that I appreciate about the Dom. I just think this gear is sick as hell. It's definitely the best gear we've seen from him so far out of his Mattel collection so far. But in terms of the Dominic Mysterio, let's get into some figure comparisons here with him. So here's every Dominic Mysterio. Mysterio Elite and Ultimate that we have seen so far. You have the Build-A-Figure Kid Dominic from the 05 Custody Ladder Match with Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio. You have the Elite 89 here, which had the wrong skin tone, not as many tattoos. First figure, really. Then you have the Ultimate Edition in the middle. You have the Elite 109 with the flannel and a custom painted on mustache, and then you have the Elite 105. I definitely like the Elite 109 the most out of the Elites, but in terms of the Ultimates, there's only one choice, but I don't know, man. I, I really love the mustache I painted over here, but this figure is very good. It's definitely the best gear and 
most bells and whistles. I, I really like the ultimate. I really do. And I, I didn't really expect to because I thought his elites were so good. And, you know, I know there's a there's a crowd of people out there that will probably say that Dominic doesn't really deserve an ultimate edition, which I know the, the ultimate edition sort of had a plan beforehand that kind of veered off track. And you can kind of make different arguments if you want to. But I really like this ultimate edition. Even if I'm not the biggest Dominic fan in the ring, I appreciate the character work and he makes me laugh. So I like that. And then for another Ultimate Edition comparison, we do have Dominic and Rey Mysterio with the Eddie Guerrero Ultimate Edition, which I thought was pretty cool. So I just wanted to kind of, you know, all three of these guys are kind of tied together in certain ways. But it is cool. You do have Father and Son Ultimate Editions up next to Rey Mysterio. And then for another comparison, we do have our Judgment Day figures, our Ultimate Edition Dom up next to our Elite Damian Priest, Finn Balor, and Rhea Ripley. Now what is cool is that we're going to have Ultimate Editions of all of these guys. So Finn Balor is coming later this year, not later this year, probably... Early next year or the end of this year, Damian Priest is coming later on this year. Rhea Ripley is also coming later on this year in Ultimate Edition form. So we'll have a full Ultimate Edition Judgment Day, which should be and make for a fun comparison. We'll do this slowly but surely as the Ultimate Editions come in. We'll plug in, you know, the more Ultimates and the more up-to-date versions of these characters. And for our last comparison, we do have Dominic Mysterio's Ultimate Edition up next to the Liv Morgan Elite 103 with a head swap just to see what these two look like up next to each other. If you want to do that for your collection, you can see these two up next to each other with Dominic and Liv. But at the end of the day, that is going to wrap up the WWE Ultimate Edition 23 2-1 Dominic Mysterio and Rey Mysterio figure review, man. At the end of the day, both of these figures are more impressive than I thought they'd be. I really love the attire of the Dominic Mysterio. I had a lot of fun, you know, posing him around and getting shots in the arena. They're just, they're fun figures overall. And I would say that I like this Dominic over the previous elites. I know you don't get a flannel shirt or whatever. There are some things missing, and the handcuffs are a little bit weird how you have to put them on, and they kind of get stuck there at the end, but it is possible to put them onto the Dominic. But I'm impressed with all the details of the Dominic. There's something about it that I just really appreciate and like. Is it a perfect figure? No. I think the neck peg is a little long. I think the head sculpts are loose when you sit them on there. And I'm not a big fan of the kind of smirking head sculpt or whatever, the newish head sculpt. Not the masked one, but the kind of smirky one where he's looking to the left. I don't really care for it. I don't I don't really like that one that much. So, they, you know, do with that what you will. It's not a deal breaker or anything, but it's certainly worth noting. I like the Dominic, and I would say if you haven't grabbed any Dominic, I would grab the Ultimate over the Elites, even though the Flannel Elite 109 is good. Or what, is it Elite 109? I think it's Elite 109. I can't remember now. Damn. But also the Rey Mysterio. I like it. I like the gear. I liked the gear when he came out. I was like, damn, that's pretty cool Rey Mysterio, even if he does look like Bible Man a little bit. But I've had fun with both these figures. They pose around really, really nicely. They feel really good in hand. I don't have a lot of loose parts and whiffs and all that stuff. I still want my holding hands on a Rey Mysterio. I can't believe they still haven't done that. I think they should adjust him in some ways. They just think he's a bit outdated in ways. But as a Rey Mysterio, if you have any Rey Mysterios, besides the earlier elites, every Rey Mysterio, especially in the modern day, 2022 through 2024, hell, maybe even 2021, there are so many damn good Rey Mysterios that pose around with the best of them. They move well. They look good. Very twee-etic in both of these guys. I like the boot sculpt. I like how they feel in hand. Just a really fun set of figures. And as a whole, Ultimate Edition 23 was a success. If you guys missed my LA Knight review, go check out the LA Knight review. I greatly appreciate it so you can see all of these figures as, you know, as a whole set, as, as Ultimate Edition Series 23. But I think also, if I had to rank these figures from my favorite to my least favorite, my least favorite to my favorite, that would be difficult. That would be very difficult because the LA Knight was very impressive. The head sculpts were just terrible. Terrible head sculpts. And I don't know... It's like Mattel either nails it or they whiff completely, and that's kind of the era that we're in here. But I had a lot of fun with the review. I'd love to know your thoughts down in the comment section below. If you guys want to grab these figures, you can't do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% down in the comment section below. Also, I am doing a Whatnot stream on Sunday, man. Come by. Come by the Whatnot stream. I'm going to have another reminder tomorrow in the video, but I still want you guys to not miss out on it. you got to check it out. Go to the link in the description below. You get $15 free. We're going to have auctions, you know, exclusive items, and all kinds of stuff over there, man. So definitely don't miss out on that. I will greatly appreciate you guys. Coming by the Whatnot stream, just, just download the app. Come by. It's going to be a fun time. Always a great time, as always. But I'm getting the hell out, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comment section below on these figures. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Thank you guys so very much for your support. You guys are absolutely unbelievable. And I appreciate every single one of you so very much. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.